hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys what i got at the last orchid show i went to which was the orchid paradise show in fort lauderdale um held at the war memorial if you haven't seen that video uh click below it's the last show i attended so today's video is a little bit different normally i like to do my haul um under my patio with all my blooms all around and everything i purchased all around uh but today's video i just wanted to do it out here um in my backyard in my garden i'm actually sitting around my pool uh just because i am repotting i'm cleaning and i don't want to really go inside i'm still in my pajamas i don't want to go inside get dressed and have to do the whole video and i just want to do it out here just a little change of of scenery um so i'm gonna share with you guys the two uh orchids that i got when i went to the war memorial auditorium and i i went to that show which was really really nice if you haven't seen it um you can look for it in um, my video it was the last one i posted it's a really nice show they had amazing displays i'm gonna add some of that footage to this video so you can have an idea if you haven't seen that uh they had beautiful displays i think you know when i went um to the Tamiami Orchid Show, uh, Sheldon had told me that, you know, try to go to that show. It's really, really nice. They're known for their displays. And to be honest with you, the displays were spectacular. Probably one of the best displays that I've seen at the shows that I've attended. Um, so take a look at that. Uh, they did a really good job. It was fantastic. So when I went to that show, I only got two orchids. I wasn't planning on getting anything. And you guys are funny because I read your comments. And some of you guys said, you know, you made me laugh because you said you weren't going to buy anything. But really, my intentions were just to go in there and film and show you guys that show. I got, yes, I did not leave empty handed. If you guys have been to these shows, you know how hard it is to just leave empty handed because everything is just so beautiful. So I was able to get, um, I was able to get another catacetum. And I know that you guys picked up on that one. I was like, <gasps> Um, and I got um, another one, which I was, I was hoping to get when I went on Sunday to the Tamiami show. Uh, I really didn't like the ones that they had, so I told Sheldon to hold one for me, and um, and he did, and he gave it to me at this show. So let me show you guys what I got first. And but before I do, I want to just show you guys around. You know, you know I, I hope you guys stay warm. It's really, really cold. My husband just came back from New Jersey, and it was like. 11 degrees and and a lot, you know, snowstorms and and all that. So oh, I hope everybody stays warm. And if you're somewhere really cold, I'm gonna just try to cheer you up with a little bit of sunshine. So let me just turn this around so you can take a look before I get my mouth. All right, so I'm sitting out here and the sun is out. I just think it's so pretty, you know, that view that I have in front of me. I just wanna share with you guys. So I'm out here and this is where, this is a view um, of the back where I have all of my my palms and I'm just gonna stand up here really quick so you guys can see this you know I have some fowls and look how pretty these these buds are I have some fowls that are about to bloom for me all right so let me just uh, show you now that I'm up what I got so this is right here a dendrobium anusmum lavender and look how pretty now I got her from Carmela orchids I paid about $28 for this beautiful dendrobium anusmum now if you've been following my channel for a while you will know that i have another dendrobium anusmum uh, but unfortunately that one's already on its last leg it's it's i don't think it's gonna make it it gave me 10 cakeys i did save the cakeys which i'll put some pictures on here so you can look at them i did save the cakeys but it really didn't survive so i got another one just in case that one um doesn't survive I have another one that will bloom for me hopefully in April so this one I believe it will bloom for me in April because it already has those little nodes so if you if you're familiar with dendrobium monosmans you will know that they will start they drop all its leaves and then these little nodes will start popping out which is where you're gonna get your flowers from so let me show you yeah all right so you see right here you see those little nodes right there those are that's an indication that I will be getting hopefully some flowers. So this is a really good sign. Okay, all that. So this is my Dendrobia monosmum. Ooh, it's one of the one of the two that I purchased. 
and then I'm gonna go over here and show you guys my other purchase. And you guys, I'm so excited with this one. I hope it's clear. It's super sunny, so I'm not able to really focus. So, this is a catacetum. There you go. Look how pretty, it's all in bud. So this is a catacetum, and this is her tag. She's the Monirara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. So this is the black orchid, you guys, and yes, I was dying to get a black orchid, and when I found it, I actually looked around, and I didn't see anything, anything like this. I'm gonna just cover her up. I didn't see anything like this, um, and one of the ones, one of the vendors that I saw him from, which is um, another vendor, I'm not even gonna say the name because I don't wanna, you know, say anything bad about them, but you know, the, the, it was very pricey and. You know, it was, it was really pricey and they were all in dormancy stage. And then I saw this one towards the end of the show and I was very surprised. I'm not sure if what I paid for it is a lot, but I'm gonna tell you that I paid $52 for this catacetum with all of these buds. And hopefully like in a week or two, I will be getting flowers. And I mean, look at, look at all the buds, you guys. And the buds are kind of they're kind of reddish orange while while they're in that in that stage and then they, they they turn out to be black so i'm very excited on that now uh i do have a few questions so if you guys are familiar with um with catacetums i have three in dorm complete dormancy you saw them you know if you saw them in my last haul and then i have this one which is now in the flowering stage so i know that the care is different i have to i was told to keep this one moist uh, where the other ones um i have to keep really really dry throughout the dormancy so anyways i have my work cut out for me with these catacetums because i am so new to them so if you have any advice for me please leave it down below and this is it guys this is my haul and like i said i am out here i am you know getting everything cleaned up because believe it or not when you have so many orchids under your patio everything gets so dirty so i'm out here i'm cleaning i am spending the day probably in my pajamas <laughs> and i'll be out here so this is why this haul was not like the other ones because i want to take advantage of my day it's my day off so i want to make sure that i do everything that i need to do uh before my day ends so i will just come out here show you guys really quick my yard my garden make sure that everything is nice and and clear so here you go my white fowl is still doing amazing there you go and then i'm gonna walk over here and show you my emma von deventure because i think that the blooms this time around are bigger than ever if you hear a noise, it's me trying to make make sure everything is in focus while I walk over there. All right, so take a look at these blooms on this Emma Von Deventure. I really think that this time around, the blooms are much bigger. Let's see, hope it's in focus. Yeah, there you go. So look at this guys i will leave you with this image while i say goodbye and that's it this was my haul i hope you enjoyed the different scenery the different way i filmed it this time around and i hope everyone has a wonderful weekend today is thursday hope everyone has a wonderful weekend a wonderful friday and i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching thank you for spending your time with me if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to go ahead and subscribe it's free and that's it thank you for watching bye bye